thank you for joining me again. As promised, I'm here with a black and white flip cut that I'm doing on a white negative space. So the paints I'm using for this project are all pre-mixed and I'll start with the white. It's Brunel Franklin's Artist Acrylic and I've mixed it up with one part clear glue, one part paint and one part water. I've got about a cup and a half here of pre-mixed paint. And then for my black, it's also a premix. It's in the bottle that the clear glue is, if anybody needs the brand. Script clear paper glue. So that's also one part black, one part glue, and one part water. Now to these, I'm varying slightly, because I'm going to add some silver. And the silver that I've got is um, pearlized paint. It's just a cheap hobby lamp, uh, hobby world paint, and it's it's not a very opaque colour. So to this, I have added some extremely glittery pigment. I've also mixed a very small amount of the white again, and to this, I've added gold pearlized paint. It's just giving it a slightly off cream sort of a colour. I'm not sure that the camera will pick up on that. And I've taken a small amount of the black and added a little bit more clear glue into this one because with the idea that it'll make it a little bit more transparent. So then when I fill it full of pigments, you'll see them. The pigments I've put into that one are... Um, Pearl black, they're all metallic magic pigments. Um, this one's a charcoal sort of a colour and a brown. We'll see what happens with that. I will just take a moment now and move the camera down. Okay, so I've taken a moment to make sure that my canvas is level and it's been primed. I didn't have any gesso, so I've primed it with this um, general purpose undercoat. I have used this on a couple of pieces now and haven't really seen any problems. The only issue with oops, this piece is that it's really badly primed and I've painted on it a couple of times before. So might not bode well for this piece. So I'm going to bring in a fresh cup and straight away begin to build my dirty cup. I'm going to go with white first and hopefully I've mixed up plenty of paint. I have an awful habit of not quite mixing enough paint. So I haven't added any silicon or anything into these because I think that I'll be able to create some effects without. So I'll just pour in some white. This colour going in first, it's going to be the colour that comes out last. And I want this to be quite a bright, pale piece with some really vivid blacks. There's just a little bit of white for now. I'm going to go straight into that with some silver. See what happens. And I'll go white again. And then I'll put a little bit of the pigment paint in now. From, I don't know, maybe a foot above. I will add as well, most of these paints were mixed up yesterday. They've just been sat with a, a rubber glove over the top. What next? What next? More white. Keep it white. And then I'm going to go for some of my true black, which I'll have to be careful with it. I really don't want to be too black. And I'm just going to put this in straight out the bottle. And slap some all over the canvas as well. Right, so more white. More silver. 
some of my off cream colour I'm going to put all of that in at once because it's very subtle and you really might not even notice that it's nothing other than white oh wow there's some really pretty cells just popped up it's with silver and like a gunmetal colour um, I'll add a little bit more of the pigmented black. And then I'll go white again. And I'll go with the true black. And then I'm going to go white again. Okay, so that's my half cup of white used. I am not making the mistake of not having enough paint again. I'd rather it goes absolutely everywhere and I have to pour loads off. Righty, 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 right. Let's see if I can get a little bit more of this cream to come out. I'm going to try and place it down the side of the cup so that it is brought out, maybe, in its own right. Okay, so that one's done with. I'm going to put all of the rest of the silver in now. As I say, this one is quite heavily pigmented. I put quite a bit in. I'm just going to leave a tiny bit in there in case I want to add it directly to the canvas. What next? What next? A whole load more white. put quite a lot of this pigment black in again. Got a fair old amount of paint there. I'll probably leave it at that. Got a load of white here, which I'm going to put onto the canvas once I've flipped it. Okie dokie. I'm just going to pick up the canvas. And if I do it with my left hand, you might have a chance of seeing. No, I've not got hold of that canvas nicely at all. Right. Try again. See how well that where I've painted it several times before. Ready? Oh, ah. gotcha. I'm just going to put that back down. And start pouring white around and about. White that I've just contaminated with black. Yeah, sure, I meant to do that. <laughs> There's a lovely grey streak running through here. Who knows, it might be what makes the piece right. In fact, to be fair, it's probably going to be poured off. I'll pour loads more on. And I'll just take this stick and spread it out a little bit. I think there's enough paint in this cup that 
I really don't need to worry about any even coverage. It's going to be quite easy to cover, she says. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to deliberately cush some of this paint out because it might affect where the paint in the cup goes. Okay. Now what I couldn't actually decide was with this piece was whether I was going to put a hole in it and drag it about or whether to just lift it off have done with it see what happens but you find when you do that any cells that appear straight away are thrown all over the place when you move the paint around I'm a bit undecided about that or whether to give the cup a slight roll and let some of the paint flop out it's exciting right so going to come towards me and then something like that. Do you even see that? That is quite awesome. Let me give you a quick look how that's come out. That's pretty cool. Just giving it a minute, let the paints do their own thing. The only issue is just how much of this I, that I'm going to have to power off. Right, pop you back up. Just going to look at it for a little while. <laughs> No, it's pretty. No, I want some more interest around here. Like so. And I want some like that. I'm going to encourage this pen. It's a shame I'm actually going to have to move it about quite so much. I'm going to take... Oops, again. I wonder if I can do this well without locking you all up. hear the, the cogs turning. I'm going to begin to move this now. Oh, I'm sad I don't want to move it. slowly.
it's mesmerising. You actually can see a couple of brown shimmery streaks, a bit of a charcoal -y look to it. I'm just trying to move slowly because it has some potential. it down for a minute while I evaluate what's going on. This area here is stunning. Absolutely perfect. And it's really glittery. But I don't know what to do now. So I don't want to lose it. I don't want to leave it this thick either. I'm going to bring out the heat gun for a minute just to move it around a little bit. Obviously, like I said, there is no silicon in here, so it's not to produce the cells in that way. And it's just to move the paint a little bit. I'm really not liking this area here, so I'm going to be quite brave and pour a bit of white on here directly. Starting here, perhaps. And I'm going to take my little stick. And my palette knife might be better here. And just smoosh it in. up here. So we you can't even see very well can you? really hesitant to add more paint onto here because I know I've got to move it. I just let it go slowly.
What even is that? It's like a skin off the table, I don't know. Yeah, it's pretty. <laughs> That's not so talkative, huh? <laughs> but it is pretty. It's got me really concentrating. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to pick up some of these spills and grip them down. There's probably still quite a lot of paint on here. I don't think it's too much. It's taking the time to sort all of these edges out because it is a nice piece. When I get some photos or show you closer, it really is pretty. There's lots going on in it. I just feel like it needs something and I don't do it, whatever it is. Yep, I'm good. I like that. I'm just going to actually mix some more white up to get these properly. I'll pause the video, hopefully. Oh, okay, I'm back. I've just mixed up some more white, but I found myself with a little bit of a problem in that I don't have the same white anymore and I don't have the same glue anymore. So I am now using Hobby Glue and Reeves Acrylic and it's titanium white. I've just mixed up a little bit of this to go around my edges and touch any areas that I'm not quite happy with about this bit. Oh, now I've contaminated my white. Oh, I'm so good at doing that. Swipey stick. Not in the white. I'm going to bring in a little bit more white here. swipe almost. Like so. I'm just manipulating the paint. Make it look a little bit more how I want it to look. 
Now, any real cells, oops, sorry, make any bounce. Any real cells really have gone on their merry way. This is a much, I don't know, crisper sort of white, the titanium. And um, you can see that there is a difference. What now? I'm just going to put some white on here. And then see what blowing it does. Swipe it over again because it's a little bit too much white all in one area. So I'm just going to come across here. And then cross that. That seemed painting. <laughs> yeah, there really is quite a lot of paint here, so. So. You know when you ask yourself, oh why did I do that? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking that right about now. But what to do about it? Nothing. Not at this point. Blow it a bit more. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna put white from the side, uh, white down the sides because I'm ruining it, ruining it, and I can't talk anymore. <laughs> I do find these deep canvas sides an absolute nightmare to cover, even when you have mixed enough paint. <laughs> Oops, I've decorated my doofa. <laughs> I knew it was only a matter of time before I got that dark with paint. So this whole <laughs> Black streak here is peeing me off, so since I've just sprudged a load of white into it, I better do something about it.
here I go again, touching when I shouldn't be. Just can't help myself, can I? Right, I'll bring you down. Still not happy though. I need to do something. Maybe not that, but... <laughs> Yep, I'm good. I'm leaving it. No need to think, stop! Stop! What are you doing? Stop doing that! Right, I've stopped. <laughs> so I'll just bring you down let you actually have a look what I've been doing. So... We have got quite a lot of interesting bits going on. You just stick the lamp off. See if that makes any difference. No, it's my spotlights, I believe, that are giving me that. I'm not entirely sure how much of this detail you can make out. There really are quite a lot of interesting bits going on. Looks like a lightning storm. Okay, I'll put the camera away and take a few photos. And we'll go from there. Thank you for joining me everybody. Maybe not being the most talkative but I was really in the zone with this piece. Hope you enjoyed watching. Bye!